good morning children i hope you all might be safe and sound at your homes uh, at the same time please take care of your parents do not trouble them as they are your assets who will support guide and love them in every phase of your life okay so let's come let's uh, discuss the next chapter in gk that is chapter number 12 chapter number 12 is all about desert animals but uh, before uh, dealing with desert animals let's see let's uh, let me give you a quick definition of what is a desert so as we all know that uh, desert is a region of land that is very dry of course because it receives low amounts of precipitation or uh, in other words you may say that desert is uh, is an extremely dry area of land with sparse sparse means very less little amount of vegetation okay so uh, let us uh, start with uh, desert animals today desert animals you can see uh, the animals which live in desert are called desert animals many animals are found in de the deserts they all are adapted to survive in the harsh conditions of the desert they all have special features which allow them which uh, help them to survive in that extreme condition of the desert so before that before coming to the chapter uh, before uh, coming to the exercise uh, we shall know about the different types of you know animals uh, surviving in or living in desert so the first uh, animal you can see it uh, looks like a uh, rodent it comes from a rat family okay and uh, it uh, it is found all in all the deserts of asia and africa its hind legs are long uh, which helps it in leaping at the same time it also has a long tail which helps in uh, help it in maintaining the maintaining its balance while leaping okay so this its name is gerbil so this is a rat found in desert okay and its name is gerbil now the next picture is of uh you can say a creature which uh, resembles like a lizard it comes from a lizard family and it feeds on small insects and plants so its name is uh, spiny tailed agamid spiny tail its its tail is just like spines you can see so spine its name is spiny tail agamid now the next picture is of a bird you can see it is appearing just like a bird black okay black and brown sort of so its name is poor will and it is a bird that is uh, it is a bird said to hibernate for a long long time to escape the harsh winter of north american desert now the next picture is of antelope squirrel antelope squirrel a squirrel is a kind of squirrel you can see okay which uh, uh you know it uh, produces lots of large amount of saliva okay uh, it uh, it uh, it is very well known uh, so it is a squirrel that knows very well to survive in the scorching heat of the desert it can produce a large amount of saliva and uh, it uh, wets its paws with the saliva that it produces and then smears it on its head do you know why does it smears on its head all over its body like it's uh, uh, wetting its uh, you know paws in order to maintain its body temperature okay in order to protect itself from the scorching condition or uh, scorching heat of the desert now the next picture is of uh, docus gazella docus gazella you can see it's a deer sort of animal okay it is found in the sahara and uh, it uh, during summers it uh, finds its way to the sea jab bahut zyada garmi ho jati hai to wo sea ye jo animal hai ye sea ki taraf chala jata hai lekin jab you know barish hoti hai desert mein to ye fir se wapas desert mein aa jate hai okay so the next picture is of a snake you can see so you might be well you might be you know aware of the snake you might be you might have seen the snake on Uh, discovery as it has got uh, uh, rattle sort of uh, 
extension rattles rattle sort of uh, thing on its and at the end of its tail okay so uh, basically its name is rattle snake and uh, when it crawls it produces a, a, a rattle kind of sound which uh, you know which acts as a warning to its prey it uh, gives a signal of warning to its prey now the next is a creepy creature which uh, uh, whose name is killer monster okay so again this uh, creepy creature this monster uh, sort of thing sort of creature belongs to a lizard family now the next picture is again of docus gazella this picture is you can see is of a tortoise children you pronounce it as tortoise but it's not tortoise it's tortoise okay so basically it lives in desert and it has a hard covering a thick shell for protecting itself from heat so this is its name is desert tortoise now the next picture is of bactrian camel as you all might be aware of all the camel that camels are known uh you know they can stay without food and water for many days and this camel uh, does the same thing it it also stays without food and water for many days it is mainly found in the gobi desert of asia now the last picture is of fox uh, like creature yeah uh, you are correct it is the smallest fox that is found in the sahara and its weight is less than 2 kg you can see it has got long ears okay it has got long ears so what is the uh, you know work or what uh, how does this uh, this is a special adaptation uh, found in the, this fox uh, uh, this long ear helps it to cool um and it can also hear the slightest sound so the name of this creature the name of this fox is fennec now then let's come to the exercise children let's deal with the questions one by one it is a lizard it is found in the sahara it feeds on small insects and plants so uh, the name of this uh, lizard is spiny tailed agamid now the next question it is the smallest fox found in the sahara its weight is less than 2 kg its large ears help it cool help sorry help it uh, keep cool besides enabling it to hear it can hear even the slightest sound so i already told you that uh, the name of the smallest fox is fennec now come to question number 3 you can see the picture of fennec over here also okay now come to question number 3 it is found in the california desert it is a squirrel that knows very well how to survive in the scorching heat of the desert it can produce a large amount of saliva it wets its paws with saliva and then smears it on its head so what kind of squirrel is it that uh, produces uh, a large amount of saliva children i already we have already discussed that it produces a large amount of saliva and then it wets its paws and then puri apni puri head pe wo saliva laga leta hai to protect itself from the uh, harsh condition of the desert so the name of the squirrel is antelope squirrel okay now come to question number 4 it belongs to the rat family it is found in all the deserts of asia and africa its hind legs are long the legs help it in leaping its tail is long enough to help it in maintaining balance while leaping okay so again i told you that uh, the rat is gerbil g e r b i l gerbil okay now come to the next question that is question number 5 question number 5 it is found in not american deserts it has a thick shell for protecting itself from heat it moves about in the early morning or at dusk so which creature has got thick shell children for protecting itself from heat tortoise and tortoise found in deserts are desert tortoise okay now come to question number 
it is a poisonous lizard of north america besides it only the beaded lizard is poisonous so we were talking about a uh, creepy creature okay so the name of that monster lizard sorry the name of that poisonous lizard is gila monster now come to question number 7 this snake is found in the deserts of north america it has rattles at the end of its tail its gentle but menacing rattle is a warning to its prey yes very well uh, guessed the answer is rattle snake now come to question number 8 it is found in the sahara it is about 2 feet high during summers it's it uh, finds its way to the sea it finds its way back to the desert when the rains come so uh, we were talking about uh, deer like creature deer like animal so the name of that animal is docus gazella okay it can stay now come to question number 9 it can stay without food and water for many days it is mainly found in the gobi desert of asia so everybody uh, very we are all well aware of this answer only one animal can stay without food and water for many days and what is that animal that animal is camel and the species is bacterian camel now come to question number 10 it is a bird said to hibernate for a long long time to escape the harsh winter of the north american desert so i had shown you the picture of a, a, a bird okay which was black and brown uh, in appearance black or brown sort of appearance so the name of the bird is poor will so poor will hibernate for a long long time to escape the harsh winter of the north american desert so this was all about today's uh, this this was all about uh, today's uh, um uh, sorry so this was all about today children so i hope you might have uh, filled the answers in your book and if not please uh, fill the answers learn the chapter by heart so that you'll be able to answer the questions which will come in your next examination okay so till then stay home stay safe and study well at the same time Thank you so much.